Hi, good afternoon, good people. I got my glasses on because um, we're gonna get this popping because I'm only gonna um, talk about this one time and one time only, and then I'm gonna move forward. Yes, I'm out here on my stoop where I come to think and uh, reminisce, talk, you know, all that good stuff. But since everybody got an opinion, like everybody got a butthole. Let's talk Will and Jada. I put a couple of scriptures up there where it talked, where um, it says about not defiling the marrow to bed. It talked about uh, giving honor to God and all that good stuff. Do they have grounds for divorce? Does Will have a right um, to go ahead and give Miss Pickett her walking papers? Yes. But we're gonna give some few people a little bit of time to get on, get in this little, this little conversation. You know, let's see if how many people gonna jump on. And if you wanna get in and you wanna share your thoughts, hit the button. Hit the button and request to come in on this live topic for conversation because like I said, everybody has an opinion. Everybody um, can agree to disagree. That's what grown folks, that's that's where uh, you being grown, being able to communicate effectively, you can agree to disagree and you can have your opinion, but you can also be open-minded to where you can glean from someone else's thoughts process or um, their uh, idea of how they view things. So. Let's be grown about this thing and let's get this thing popping. Now, I'm looking for certain people to jump on here that jumped on my post and I want to hear their opinions live. I want us to talk about it because I, I'm my opinion may shock you on how I feel about this whole situation with Will and Jada. Will and Jada was one of those couples that um, hashtag goals. I've always looked at them as... Um, I'm not gonna say the epitome of a relationship, but they always had, hey Shahanda, they always had, um, seemed to have it together or it was perfectly imperfect for them, if you understand what that means. So, um, I'm trying to give some people some time to get on here because I wanna see what y'all think. Because at the end of the day, um our opinions are just that at the end of the day guess who got to live with their their said decision so we keep getting caught up in all this hype this smoke and mirrors um we getting caught we had covid we uh got the dumb man over there in the white house 45 with his stupid antics about sending the kids back we got so much that's going on in this world that we're taking the focus off of what really needs to um we really need to be worried about see now y'all don't forget about black lives matter because you done jumped on will and jada you done forgot about the social distance, the hand washing, the wearing of the mask, and um, killing COVID, choking him out. You own, you own Will and Jada. That's what y'all own. Oh, Shonda, Shahanda, you want to come in and help me do this? Because I think me and you might have the same opinion. They might not want to hear ours. Will might be by. He might be marrying. But again, that is their relationship and what some people don't seem to understand is there is someone for everyone okay the, there's no such thing as a perfect person there's no such thing as a perfect marriage there's no such thing as a perfect anything because the last time i checked there's not one perfect person sitting here on this earth today uh, how can I add you? Wait a minute. I don't know. Wait a minute, Shahanda. You might have to request. Oh, wait a minute. I can't add you, Shahanda. I can ha add everybody but you, but your name ain't up here for me to add you, sis. Um, go back out. Go back out the live and come back in because when you come in, it gives me the option to bring you on camera. 
Let me see. Let me try something else. Yeah, it won't let me bring you on. But anyway, I got five people on here, so I'm going to go ahead and tell them, say my opinion, and then those that had a whole lot to say or want to comment can go back and read or they can um, jump on and we can continue this discussion. Now, I can speak on this, you know why? Because I done been married, okay? I done been through a little divorce or whatever you want to call it. I done been through the infidelity. I done been through all that, okay? And here is my take on this, okay? I chose to leave. Not because I didn't want my marriage. Not because I didn't want to be married. Because I want to be married today. I really do. I would love to have a husband that compliments and reciprocates the same energy that I give in a relationship because that's what it is. It's a give and take. It's a respect. It's a communication. It is marriage is a lot of work. And if you're not willing to put in the work, put them knee boots on and go out there in the deep, keep your butt on the sideline and be single. That's all I'm saying. It's not going to be peaches and creams. Every day ain't going to be a bed of roses. You going to go through tests, trials, and tribulations. But it's how you handle that as a couple, not individually. It's how you handle that as a couple is the, uh, how you going to survive. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Shahanda, did you go out and come back in? Everybody else, they telling me I can add them, but I can't add you, sis. But um, anywho, uh, getting back to my opinion, here's my take. Will or Jada, he either one you want to take, they are perfectly imperfected. They're perfectly imperfect for each other. They done figured it out. They figured out that they were willing to go whatever through whatever they going to go through, but they was going to go through it together. Okay? It don't mean that you being a fool or you a dummy because you decided that you was going to be ten toes down with your mate. That you was willing to work through the push, the pull, the aggravation, the frustration, the lies, the cheat. You was willing to work through that because they had you placed enough value on that person for whatever reason because you have that right you have placed enough value within that person to say they were worth you going through what you're going through to remain together okay that's what we need to think about back in the days when Ma and pa was out there doing their thing they didn't break up and you didn't think that Ma dukes and i ain't talking about my mom and daddy i'm just using these examples did you not think that mama knowed or grandma knowed and auntie knowed that papa was a rolling stone and he was out there doing his thing but they were committed to each other to raise them kids and take care of that family through it all okay now yes you have the right once you find out or you know that your mate has been um cheating or they have been unfaithful and the marital bill has been defiled according to the bible it says you can leave you can leave and you're free to go marry and do what you want because the marital bed was defiled and biblically you have the right and you can go on and live your best life however you see fit with or without this person. That's the biblical portion of it, okay? You don't have to stay and you don't have to go. That's why we have choices. There's choices that you need to make. But when you make these choices, make sure that you are willing to go through the long haul of said choice. So when you decide that you were going to work through the, um, sorry y'all, that was a big B and y'all know I don't do B's and stuff and stuff and stuff. I got real Oh, I had to get him out of my space. I ain't got no EpiPen. The sucker dang on near $1,000. I can't afford that right now. But anywho, getting back to what I was saying, everybody has the right to do whatever it is that they see fit to do. But count the cost when you're doing it. Know what you're doing. Know why you're doing it. And know your reason for staying or leaving. Don't halfway leave and don't halfway stay. Either it's A, 
or B. You're going to do one or the other, okay? And when you choose to do it, do it to the best of your ability. Don't halfway do it. So if you said you forgave the person for whatever they did, let it go. You forgave them. It's done. It's now time to move forward and move on. Do not let that person or do not make that person have to relive your forgiveness on a daily basis do they have to earn your respect and your trust back yes but a person that is truly wanting to be a part of said union they're gonna put in the work you're not gonna have to question their loyalty you're you're gonna see the efforts and i would much rather work it out i would have worked it out with my said husband had my said husband put in the effort to make it work there's no working on a one-sided anything you can have all the hope faith and the love and desire but if the other half does not have what you are feeling it's over let it go move on but if that person is willing to love through the pain, not the person that committed said act, but if the person that's the victim of, the, of it all, if they are willing to work through the pain and if they can forgive and if they can push through the pool, who the heck are we as sideliners sitting back looking at their life from the outside in? Who is Who are we to do that? Who are you to judge what is good for them? We aren't. So what you need to be doing is worrying about your own self. Sweep around your own doorstep. Fix and repair the, the relationships that you got going on. Whether it's a marriage, it's a, a boo ship. A, 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 I don't know what I'm trying to keep it clean. But work on them. See, we take the focus on the important things. We take the focus off of those. And we start being we start worrying about stuff that ain't gonna pay no bills, that ain't no concern of us, and it's not supporting the movement. Black Lives Matter movement, getting rid of this COVID movement, getting uh, 45 out the white White House. Did you register to vote? Did you complete that census, huh? Did y'all do all of that? Is you walking around masked up all the time so we can get rid of this COVID? Focus on them three main things. And then we could talk about Will and Jada. Because after I get off this right here, we ain't talk about Will and Jada no more. Because in my eyes, those are relationship goals for me. I hope that whoever step into my life when God see fit to bring him to me, that we have the type of relationship that we can talk about any and everything, even in the midst of pain and hurt, that we can walk through it together. Because life going to be crazy anyway. So why not go through this crazy doggone life that we got going on right now? Why not go through it with somebody you love and you respect and you have value, you place value on? i much rather take him over someone else, okay? So that's my rant and rave. I ain't seen nobody over here that had a whole lot to say. There ain't nobody jumped on here that wanted to speak on it. Nobody spoke on it, so I said it and I meant it, and I ain't taking it back. No, I'm not boo-boo the fool, but I know what I want. And obviously, Jada and Will does too. That's why they still together. Okay, so learn to mind your own doggone business, okay? Okay, okay. Clean up your own doggone house. It's people right now, their house is in, is in turmoil, but they got a lot to say about the Smiths, okay? Fix what's going on in your house. Worry about that. Okay? Y'all looking at something that done happened years ago. This right here that happened with August Alcina. This just didn't happen this year. This didn't happen last month. This been done happen. Y'all just got privy to the inner workings of their life because August decided to open his motherfucking... Oh, ooh, ooh. August decided to open his mouth. Okay? We didn't even know that she had done, uh, got tossed up by August. We didn't even know that. It done been buried, dead, and stinking. And if you watch that red table talk, did you see how weird it was? 
We are like, come on, come on, Jada. What did you do, Jada? <laughs> they got jokes. They joking about it. And we in our feelings. Yes, yeah, stoop talk. You know how I do, Tia. So, when y'all start putting the value and the importance in the right place, then y'all will have a relationship like Will and Jada because they obviously good with it. So, it's time for us to get on the bus with them and have a seat. Several seats. Okay. All right. So, let me go ahead and do this shameless plug. Tonight at 6 p.m., your girl will be on uh, 105.1 in Greensboro with my R&B artist, Legend, um, dropping his new uh, single called Relax. So, if you have it, go to YouTube. Go to Pandora. Go to... Um, Oh Lord, my mind just went blank. Uh uh Spotify. Uh get them numbers up. Listen to it. Push play and then tell me what you think about the record. But also tune in at 6 p.m. tonight on 105.1 when Legend goes live and he drops it so y'all can get in the movement. So support, support, support. Charlotte's on. I'm back, y'all. Y'all didn't think you was going to see me in this arena again, but she's back. So stay tuned. I got a lot of other things that's popping off in the city. I'm committed to my city, my town, because I am what I am, Queen City. So y'all be a blessing to someone else. Apply sunscreen, hydrate, 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 and above all, make sure that you share your smile, okay? All right, y'all be blessed, and holla at y'all again. Uh, mind your business. Remember that Will and Jada, that's they stuff. Let them handle they stuff, because we just got brought into it, okay? All right, peace.